Hey everybody, Straight Dog Billy here doing song number 536 in 536 days in a row. Started doing one song every day, posting it on my Straight Dog Billy YouTube channel back in uh, August 7th of 2020. We've been doing one song every day since. We're going to keep on doing one song every day, posting it on my channel until... Uh, COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control. We can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band. Guitars, drums, more keyboards. Please check out our website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold. We'll talk about that in a minute after today's song. This is an old T-Bone Walker blues called uh, Stormy Monday Blues. Here it, here it is. version. Yes, please check out our website, straydog.org. I got my nickname from that, after co-founding that site, that, that, that shelter, with my first wife, the late Pat Arnold, who passed on in, in 03, tragically, from a brain aneurysm. Terrible tragedy. But we started the shelter in 94, co-founded the shelter, Pat and I did, and we became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 97, 
with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated, and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, which makes all donations and contributions to the shelter tax deductible. We are still going strong today. <coughs> Excuse me, still rescuing, rehabilitating when necessary. A lot of stray dogs uh, that we uh, that we rescue don't need rehabilitation. They just need a home. We fix the dogs, which means spay and neuter them. And then we try to adopt them out to good homes. And of course, uh, being a no-kill dog shelter, any dog that doesn't get adopted can stay with us as long as it has to until it is adopted. <coughs> now, adoptions, adoptions, adoptions. That is the most important focus in addition to taking care of these precious animals while they're in our care, taking good care of them. And in the year 2019, we have full figures from across the nation. Total adoptions from all shelters and pounds were 3.2 million. Tremendous number of animals got saved, got to find homes, got to live in 2019. It was uh, 3.2 million with 1.6 million dogs, 1.6 million cats, just happened to be about an equal number in 2019. And that is an average adopted out every single day, 4,400 dogs daily, every day of the year 2019, 4,400 cats every day of the year 2019. Tremendous accomplishment. All shelters and pounds, including stray dog, need our financial support to help us keep on rescuing, rehabilitating, and rehoming these precious animals. Now, that's the bright side of this problem, the dark side, tragic side, unfortunate side, is that we as a society across this nation are still using euthanasia, which is meant for uh, for terminally ill dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. Euthanasia is meant to be used for fatally injured dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. That's what euthanasia is for. But we as a society, it's been legal, it is legal, in some areas it's not anymore. It's legal to use it to get rid of the surplus the extras, the ones that haven't been adopted out yet. This is a terrible tragedy. We are still, as a society across this nation today, euthanizing 1,700 dogs and cats on the average every single day because homes still can't be found for all of them. Now, 10 years, 11 years ago in 2011, it was far worse. It was 7,000 per day were being euthanized because they were homeless. And 52 years ago in the year 1970, across this nation, we were euthanizing a total of 41,000 per day. It's just a horrible thing to even think about. Well, we're still at 1,700. 41,000 is a lot better. 7,000 is a lot better. 1,700 is still way, 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 way too many. How do we stop it? In addition to more and more adoptions, because mama dogs and mama cats are gonna keep on delivering to us uh, litter after litter of puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens to take care of for them, which we all gladly do in, in the rescue world. What do we have to do to stop this so we don't have to euthanize 1,700 anymore? We have to get down to zero. We have to control conception. We have to stop conception. Stop conception. How do you do that? We've already known about this for decades and decades and decades and decades. Also, it's called spay and neuter in the dog and cat world. Let's all spay and neuter our pets, everybody. And this problem, overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world will end. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Street Dog Billy One Man Band.